Hi, my name is Katerina Kesti, and I am a board certified dermatologist. I currently practice at St. Petersburg Skin and Laser in sunny St. Petersburg, Florida. Can you tell me a little bit about your presentation? Sure. So this was a presentation that Dr. Goldberg and I did together at the American Society for Dermatologic Surgery meeting. And we presented a study that we did on 50 patients and we injected either 0, 15, 30, or 45 units of abobotulinum toxin A into the subject's foreheads. And then we followed them for six months afterwards and we monitored for oily skin, sebum production, and how happy the patient and the investigators were with helping with the oily skin. Um, the results of this study were very interesting um, and we were very pleased with the results as well as the patients who were also very pleased with the treatment if they got 30 or 45 units of the abobotulinum toxin A or dysport in their forehead. So we found that um, the subjects who got 30 or 45 units, they had significantly decreased um, oil production in their foreheads where we injected it. And they also had significantly decreased sebum production in that area. And another interesting thing about the data that um, came out of this study was that the decrease in oily skin and the decrease in sebum production as well as the patient and investigator satisfaction with the treatment actually lasted six months, which is um, three, months, three months longer than we typically think of the neurotoxins effects. Um, what are some of the biggest takeaways from your presentation? Um, I would say the biggest takeaway from our presentation was the dosing of the apobotulinum toxin A or the dysport. Um, there were a few kind of pilot smaller studies that came out. Um, just examining the role of neurotoxins with oily skin and sebum production, also acne. And so in this study, the biggest takeaway was that you really do need the 30 units of abobotulinum toxin A to get the results. And then in our data, you know, on our 50 subjects, there was no difference between the 30 and 45 units, except for the patients that got the 45 units reported higher patient satisfaction scores with the treatment than the 30 units. But so the biggest takeaway would be if you have a patient and you're using a neurotoxin for oily skin or sebum production, you really want to get to at least the equivalent of 30 units of abobotulinum toxin A like per forehead. So last question, why is this topic so important for physicians to know? I think this is a good topic for physicians to be aware of, particularly this study, because if you're a medical dermatologist or if you're a cosmetic dermatologist, you're going to have patients come in ask, asking you about treatments for oily skin. And this is a great paper to kind of reference and use as a tool because you, know, you can use topical retinoids. That's a good treatment as well as some other treatments. But the nice thing about using neurotoxins is at least in our data from our 50 subjects, the results did last a full six months, which is um, patients will love in your practice if you say you can come in for a few injections and it's going to control your oily skin for um, six months and you're going to be happy with the treatment.